In practice, what this means is that there will be many, many people, vulnerable people in this community, who may die as right. a result of what is essentially there's no way out an of experiment. There's no way out of it. No, there's no way out of that. Okay. So we've given up on the containment phase. That hasn't worked. So, but, I but, mean, he, Thomas can throw his arms up as much as okay. he likes, but that hasn't worked, yeah? OK, but the, but the point is that we're the only country, as far as I know, that is, that is espousing this model. I mean, the Italians no, are no. telling us that no, they, no. they wish they had done it earlier. They wish they had told their population two weeks ago, you know, a lockdown means you don't go to the cafe, you don't go to the pizzeria, And what happens when they, when they release the lockdown? What it, does happen then? It comes back. But is that Because you haven't got rid of... Yes, it's inevitable. If there's virus around in the population, there's infectious people. So unless you've stamped every case out, not just in every case, mm. not just in Italy, but around the world, okay. as soon as you release them out of lockdown, it comes back. This is a really crucial question. Thomas, uh, what's to say that, you know, once China, you know, people go back to the factories and go back to the offices and, the, you know, traffic's back on the streets, that this thing won't come back? It will come. And possibly worse the second time around. It, it, it will, but the key there is um, not to have a peak, because when you have a peak, you have hundreds of thousands or millions of people uh, collapsing the NHS. And when you do that, all the people cannot share the ventilators that they need. Mm -hmm. All the people who are having uh, heart attacks right now cannot get, get to the ER. And so what we need is not to have this huge peak, collapsing everything, killing everybody. What we need is to, what we call, flatten the curve, mm -hmm. slow grow these cases, contain it, so that they can be spread over time, we can achieve herd immunity, not in two weeks going crazy, but in six months, in a year. But scientists advising these people, when you look back on this episode, whether you have some regrets about some of your advice or what you thought at the time? Yes, we should have gone into lockdown earlier. Um, I think it would, would have been hard uh, to do it. I think our the, the data that we were dealing with in the early part of March and our kind of situational awareness where uh, was really quite poor. Um, and so I think it was would have been very hard to pull the trigger at that point. Um, but I wish we had. Uh, I wish we had uh, gone into lockdown earlier. I think that has, uh, you know, cost a lot of, of lives, unfortunately. Uh, and you were widely quoted with what you'd said about herd immunity. Do you regret that? What I said about herd immunity was that that's how the epidemic eventually will end. And it will end via herd immunity. I, via vaccination is how we want it to be achieved, but that's how all epidemics come to an end. So uh, we'll, we'll be under these restrictions in some way uh, until the levels of immunity are such in the population that um, that we don't have to take these extra precautions to stop yeah. chains of transmission. Um, and so that will, um, you know, all of us hope that that will happen via vaccination. Um, and there's, you know, increasing good news about the vaccination pro um, development programs. But um, it's the case. There is, yeah. you know, there is... That's how it works. That's how all of the epidemics, that's how every epidemic works. That's not, yeah. there's nothing special about this one. That's how measles epidemics come to an end is because we ha achieve um, levels of immunity to stop that, to stop the level, I, to stop I, the measles outbreak. I suppose what alarms some people is the sheer extra numbers of people who would have to be infected with COVID-19 for us to achieve that. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, awful. I mean, that, uh, nobody ever wanted to, to achieve that. It was just a statement of this is how this is how these things end. Um, it's not a matter mm. of uh, wanting it in any shape or form. That's really interesting. Professor Edmonds, thanks very much indeed for joining us this morning. You're welcome. And I'm joined.